Hi there, so today I'm going to take you through a tutorial to show you how to install e-commerce um, using the WooCommerce plugin in WordPress and then how to activate that with a theme that is not compatible for WooCommerce. So I'm going to show you how you can set a theme up so that it can be compatible with WooCommerce if it says it's not when you start. And to do that we need to first install a theme. This is a fresh installation of WordPress, I've just installed it and I've gone to themes and already installed a theme called P2 this is a WordPress theme it's a bit like a, a Twitter um, sort of WordPress theme I'm just going to quickly show you it so you can see it here it's just a very simple update of status but I want to add a, a shop to this so what I'm going to do I go into the dashboard through my plugins I'm going to add new and I'll type in WooCommerce Here I'm going to install WooCommerce, the excelling e-commerce plugin. We can see it's got four stars. When we hover over it, there's 507 ratings. So I'm going to install this now. Once that's installed, we're going to activate the plugin. And this is a screen you're going to see. Once you've installed the plugin, there's two things you're required to do. The first is we need to install the WooCommerce pages. These are the shop, the checkout, all of the um, important pages that WooCommerce requires to function. So we're going to install these just by a single click. And then the second thing we can see when we go back to the dashboard is it says here that our theme does not declare WooCommerce support. So you can just go through the theme integration guide. I wanted to give you a video so that you can just watch this through and see how I do it. And by clicking on the theme integration guide, it's going to take us to the excellent codex from um, from WordPress uh, from WooThemes. So what we're going to do is we're going to have that open in a separate window just so that we can take the code that we require. Now you're going to need um, access to your FTP either via cPanel or if you do it the way I do it, I use a, um, a program called Coda. Um, there's lots of other text editors you can use, Notepad++, Text Wrangler, there's many different versions. But for now, I'm just going to use Coda. And what we need to do is we need to navigate from our website. So this is our WordPress installation. We're going to navigate into the WP content folder. From there, we're going to navigate into themes. And from here, we're going to navigate into the theme that we are using. Now, the correct way to do this is to set up a child theme and to work through the child theme. There's other videos that you can watch on that, but for now, I'm just going to show you simply what we need to do to enable WooCommerce. So we need to take the main page, which will be page PHP, and it will tell you that as we scroll down here that we need to duplicate page PHP. So we're just going to right click and duplicate and page copy we're going to rename as WooCommerce.php. Very simple, that's now done on that side of things. We need to click on the WooCommerce PHP and it will tell us in the documents that we need to take everything between the loop. The loop starts with PHP if have posts. So if we scroll back here, we can see here PHP if have posts, and then we have PHP end if, which is there. So what it says we need to do here is we need to delete that and we need to replace the loop with this line here. So what we're going to do is go back to here. We're going to take the entire loop, which is the start of the PHP have posts to the PHP end if delete that and we're going to post in its place the WooCommerce content. We're going to save that page so that it's live and our theme is now supporting WooCommerce. There's just one other thing that we need to do and that is in our functions PHP. So if we go back to our text editor, we go back to our theme into our files and we have a functions.php file. Now the main thing to remember is that if you are using a child theme, you need to copy the exact functions PHP from your parent theme into the child theme and then add to it. Also, another important thing to remember so you do not break WordPress is to have no spaces at the bottom of the functions.php. If you have a few empty lines, it will break WordPress. So it needs to ensure that it is, it is as, as, as it is showing here. 
And all we're going to do here is we're going to take this code here from the WordPress doc, uh, from the WooThemes document, and we're going to add this here into the functions.php. Now, I like to comment out everything that I do. And the reason I do that is so I can keep tabs. So I have that there, so we know that that's the start of WooCommerce. And then at the end, I like to put end of WooCommerce. So then if we ever come back, we can see and we know exactly what we're looking at. The last thing that we need to do once we've done that is just release that nag that we have here that tells us that WooCommerce is uh, now installed correctly. We do that by entering on final line of code, which is add theme support. We save the functions PHP. We come back and we can now refresh our screen. And as you can see, the nag has now gone and WooCommerce is now enabled for our theme. We can test this now by viewing the theme itself and just going to forward slash shop and we can see now that we have our shop, although there are no products, this shop is now installed and we now have WooCommerce enabled through our theme.